Hello everyone, it's um, my granddaughter's ninth birthday. Happy birthday, Adeline, today. And this is April, no, this isn't April. This is May 11th, 2024. Okay, now, here's the book I opened up, Lamentations, Chapter 3. This is a pretty hard book, y'all. Anyway, I'm going to read it to you. It says, Jeremiah despairs yet hopes. I am a man that has seen afflictions, this is Jeremiah, by the rod of his wrath. He hath led me and brought me into darkness, but not into light. Surely against me he is turned. He's turned his hand against me all day. My flesh and my skin has he made old. I know that, huh? He has broken my bones. He has built against me and compressed me with gill and travel. He has set me in a dark place as they that be dead and of old. He has hedged me about that I cannot get out. He has made my chain heavy. Also, when I cry and shout, he shuts out my prayers. He has enclosed my ways. He has made my paths crooked. He was unto me as a bear lying in wait and as a lion in a secret place. He has turned aside my ways, pulled me in pieces. He has made me desolate. He has bent his bow and set me as a mark for the arrow. Jeremiah said this when he's in despair. Yet yeah, he hopes. He has bent his bow, yet set a mark as, as, as an arrow. He has caused the arrows of his crawler to enter into my reins. I was... I can't read that really, but I was a um, de der derision to all my people, their song all day. He has filled me with bitterness. He has made me drunken with the wormwood. He has also broken my teeth with the stones. He has covered me with ashes. This is a pretty hard book and has removed my soul far off from peace. I forsook prosperity, and I said, my strength and my hope is perish from the Lord. Remember my afflictions and my misery, the wormwood and the gale. My soul has them still in remembrance and is humble in me. This I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning, great is his faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul, therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeks him. It is good that a man shall both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man that he bears the yoke in his youth. He sits alone and keeps silence because he has bore it unto himself. He puts his mouth to the dust. If so, be there may be hope. He gives his cheek to him that smitheth him and he feels full with reproach. For the Lord will not cast off forever, but though he could grieve yet, will he have compassion according to his multitudes of his mercies. He's a merciful God. For he does not afflict will, willfully, nor grieves the children of men, to crush under his feet all the prisoners of the earth. 
to turn aside the right of a man before the face of the Most High, to subvert a man and his cause, the Lord approveth, approveth not. Who is he that says it comes to pass when the Lord commands it not? Out of the mouth of the Most High proceeds not evil and good. Out of the mouth of the Most High proceeds not evil and good. Wherefore does a living man complain to a man for the punishment of his sin? Let us search and try our ways and turn again to the Lord. Let us lift up our heart with our hands unto God and to heaven. We have trespassed and have rebelled that thou have not pardoned. Thou hast covered with anger and persecuted us that thou slain thou not pit, pittest. Thou hast covered thyself with a cloud that our prayers should not pass through. Thou hast made us as an offspring and refused in the midst of the people. All the enemies have opened their mouths against us. Fear and a snare has come up upon us, desolate and destruction. My eyes run down the rivers of water for the destruction of the daughter of my people. My eyes that could not cease not without intermission till the Lord look and behold from heaven. Amen. Let me see if there's some more to this chapter. This is chapter 3 of Lamentations. Yeah, there's a little bit more, and then I'm through. My eyes afflict my heart because of all the daughters of the city. My enemies chase me so like a bird without cause. They cut off my life in the dungeons and cast a stone unto me. Let me take this gun out. Water flows over my head. Then I said, I am cut off. I called upon thy name, O Lord, out of the low dungeons. Thou hast heard my voice, and hide not thy ear at my breathing, at my cry. Thou drawest near in the day that I call upon thee. And thou said, Fear not, O Lord, thou hast um, pleaded and, and called of my soul. Thou hast redeemed my life. O Lord, thou hast seen my wrong, and judged thou my cause. Thou hast seen all these vengeance of all their imaginations against me. Thou hast heard their reproach, O Lord, and all the imaginations against me. The lips of those that rose up against me, and their device against me all day. Behold, they are sitting down, and they are rising up, and I am their Masuk. Render unto thee a recompense, O Lord, according to the work of their hands. Give them sorrow of heart, thy curse unto them. Persecute and destroy them in anger from under the heavens of the Lord. And that is Lamentation chapter 3, and it's about Jeremiah and his despair, yet he still hopes. Okay, that's the word for today, y'all. Have a great weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all your mothers, and happy birthday to my granddaughter, who is nine years old today. I love you, Adeline. Bye.